Since 2015, the Newman University Sport Management Program has hosted senior seminar for last semester seniors. Each semester, seniors held a three-hour networking event. On March 13, 2020, Newman University decided to switch from in-person classes to fully online. It became clear this year's networking event would be much different. This is their story. We have one group now that, that works cohesively every spring. It's all the seniors in the sport management major that come together. And of course, now that we're in our sixth year of doing this since 2015, the students know what's coming for, for the most part, right? They understand what senior seminar is a little bit. Um, the, the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, you know, every year they, they get the chance to, to go to the, the different networking events that, that the prior classes have held. We did presidential interviews in November. I picked my executive team this year, which was comprised of three seniors. This year we had, we had a group of 14 total seniors. And so I picked an executive team of three, and I let them decide amongst themselves who was going to handle what role. Within the executive team, Colin Blake was the CFO, Marissa Maglino was the CEO, and Dasha Gorakova was the COO. We were doing good. We had our venue secured. We had everything lined up, everything set up in place. We had the date. Um, we had all of our fundraising basically planned. Um, we were doing great. We we're off to a great start. Um, Dr. Lanzillo even told us, like, I'm surprised how great you guys got off to a jump start. Um, you guys are doing awesome. I've never seen like a class like start off this well. I hope it continues and everything like that. Um, so we were feeling great. We were feeling awesome. And then all of a sudden, the COVID-19 crisis kind of came about and we were kind of watching the news and we had separate group chats and we were kind of just like, this is something we're going to have to worry about, keep in the back of our minds. Um, none of us ever thought it was going to get to the point that it did. We got the, um, the email saying that we were out of classes for two weeks. So we were like, okay, no problem. We can move online. We can work through Slack. Um, we'll text each other. We'll do whatever we need to do. We're still fine. Like our, our event was like a month away at that point. So we were like, that's plenty of time. I think we'll be good. And then we got the follow-up email. I think it was literally just a couple days after that. And it was like, yeah, we're um, online for the rest of the semester. In the New York City area, the number of cases doubling again in the last 24 hours. And Tonight, authorities shutting down a street in Boston, transporting dozens of people from the Marriott Hotel directly to the hospital to be tested for the new coronavirus. More signs of the world's biggest economy actually shutting down children home from school. Now eight states, as I mentioned, canceling school in their states, empty shelves across this country at grocery stores. And the shutdowns are engulfing sports, too. NASCAR and golf's Masters announced postponements today, joining nearly every major league sport, the NHL, Major League Baseball, and soccer, and others calling a timeout. A crazy idea came to mind for the class to do an online networking event. At first, it seemed a little far-fetched, but soon gained traction. But where did this crazy idea come from? While our event has traditionally been a, a networking type of event, I didn't think that was going to translate well in this format. I, I didn't know how that would work. I didn't know how we could take what we've always done and try to overlay it in this space. So the idea of a conference came to mind just because I've been to so many. And obviously our program is, is pretty heavy in terms of doing informational interviews and, and encouraging students to get out and meet industry people. So this just seemed like an opportunity to create something digitally, which is where the whole world is working right now, at least it feels that way, and use this space in the most effective way possible, which would be to hopefully educate, to get our students, first and foremost, and in the spirit of the Newman concept of service, provide something that a lot of other people could benefit from. Once the class had their idea, they had two weeks to prepare a large-scale virtual conference and lots of work laid on the road ahead of them. That was definitely stressful. We were all kind of doing all different responsibilities, so we were reaching out to all of our panelists. Um, our first order of action, we sent out a survey um, just to see who would be interested in, the, in speaking in a panel. So we sent that out to literally all of our connections. We basically just like mass emailed people that and we were like, hey, if you're interested, please fill this out. Um, that way we were just able to gather everyone's information. And our next step was just to um, figure out the names of the panels and how we were going to group everyone together. Um, also, we, we wanted to figure out like how many panelists we wanted per session. We didn't have that set in stone yet because we wanted to see how many interested we had. Um, so once we figured out how many we had interested, um, yeah, we kind of just started grouping them together. It was kind of like an open discussion through Zoom, like how we wanted to see it, what we pictured, 
it to be like. And then after that, we um, sent out the confirmation email saying, we selected you to be a panelist. Um, are you available this time, this date? And then after that, we kind of, we all, since we were all different moderators for different groups, the moderators kind of took control for that specific panel. I think that reaching out to LinkedIn connections, also kind of putting it on, on our posts, like making a post about it, uh, I really got the word out because once you make that public, people outside your network are seeing it. Because if somebody in your network likes it, everybody in their network uh, can see that they like that post. So it kind of made it blow up in that point. But uh, the alumni were definitely the, the target market in the beginning before we went online, but then it went to kind of everybody. Of course, when you have such a quick and crazy idea, some will be shocked and some will be overwhelmed. And those feelings did arise in class. At first, I was definitely a little skeptical about this online webinar. I didn't know how it would go. I didn't know what to expect and how I would be able to have a role in it being the director of marketing and communications. However, everyone kind of chipped in a helping hand. Everyone did different things. I think everyone's roles changed a little bit. I wasn't just the director of communications anymore. I was Alex Rucci just as a member of NUSM 460 trying to make this train keep rolling. And I think that all of us kind of altered our roles and helped out where we could. And we were able to, I think, everyone was able to get at least one person in to be either panelist or participate in the event. And I think that's what really made this event and that train keep rolling. I think everyone had a lot of fun with it and stepped out of their comfort zone a little bit. I think the women in sports was the first panel we got. And then we kind of realized, oh, some of those people are from like Los Angeles. And I was like, oh, well, maybe this could be named national. And then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then uh, a couple days before the thing started, we were like, oh, this is big. Bigger and bigger and bigger it grew. The class had people register from Los Angeles, Portland, Colorado, London, England, and South Africa. But the day of the event was upon the class and the nerves began to strike. I was so nervous. Um, I specifically asked if Dr. J uh, would introduce the first panel just because I had no idea what to expect. And on the panel, like the first five minutes, Marissa and Dasha are texting me like, don't look so nervous. Like, it's, it's going to be okay. Like, you're going to do great. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. But like, once it started uh, going, 10, 15 minutes in, you, you forgot about it. And it was basically a conversation with the people. I remember we tried to get on Zoom like as early as we could before it started to like plan out how like, exactly it was going to go. But then once it started, I realized like it was so easy and like just conversation, like we were stressed out, like was trying to plan out every word but then it just didn't get like that at all so it was very like not stressful at all we, th we had some talking points ahead of time but people asking questions definitely helped it go smoothly um kept the people engaged after three successful days of panels the class began to realize what they had accomplished it's definitely something that's humbling and it's definitely something i'm proud about i'm proud for my classmates to be able to be a part of this i'm proud to be a part of it Dr. Lanzillo and all of the people from Newman Media, Professor Mezzi, Sean McDonald, and everyone in the spin room had a helping hand in just making this thing incredibly possible. And it's something I'm glad I had the experience to do, but it's also something I'm glad that I was able to share with other people as well. That just goes to show like how strong our program here is and how like, close knit we are and how like we can even though we're a small school, we can still put on major events that maybe like big schools can you they don't even have the opportunity to do so. This event was that it was more fun rather than it feeling like work. Um, we were all kind of collectively bringing ideas together and um, the communication was just always there through Slack. I thought it was cool, like the industry pros, like the people on the panels and the, and the attendees who just weren't students, they were like, they were like so into it and they're like, wow, it's like really like so great what you guys did. Like they never seen it. In the future, all these people that we've connected with either been with on the panel or people that were on other panels that we might have joined, they, they know our names now. And um, one of the guys, he's inside sales manager for the Colorado Rapids, uh, Austin Avery. He was saying, if I got a stack of interviews or a stack of resumes and I see one of the guys from or one of the girls from Newman, and anyway involved, they, they go to the top now because now I know what they can do. And even though I'm not from the area, I'm not, you know, I don't know the school particularly. Now I know what you guys are capable of. The biggest thing I took away is going to be like the memories for sure. I think like even before going online, you know, there's a lot of things like jokes and stuff in class, you know, 
uh, the first day of class, you go in and, and uh, you're de- I was definitely terrified. I was like, I don't know what to expect. Like, this is like an actual job and like everybody's dressed up. Or, this is so serious. Then you get in there and you're kind of like relaxed. You have like all your people around you, all your friends. And uh, you just look back on the memories, like going out and trying to fundraise and like getting nervous before going in, things like that. Um, run, running like a running the uh, the fifty fifty raffle at the high school basketball, and really seeing like Rucci speak to people that he has no idea who they are, like anybody, you know, like just seeing like his strengths and like seeing everybody's strengths in the class. Uh, I'm really proud that I can put this at the top of my resume, and I think I think this can actually help me because this is probably the challenge that us seniors have that aren't going for a master's right now is the entire sports world shut down. So it's going to be 10 times harder for us to get a job than any other graduating class before. Cause we're not only fighting with you know, other college graduates, we're also fighting with people who got laid off from their jobs already who are probably higher qual- qualified than us. So this can make us like, stand out and might get us a job over somebody who's been in the industry for five years. One of Newman's core values is reflection. Over the four years of learning and personal development, they use their skills of reflection to reflect upon their experience. And I think looking back, I'll always be able to bring up how us students at Newman didn't just sit back and just sit at home and do nothing and kind of just take the, take the L with our event. We, we conquered it. We, we, figured out, we problem solved, we figured out a new way to attack this beast. Um, and I think that's something that everyone's gonna, everyone in our class can look back and be really proud of. There was a lot of people in you in this class that I really didn't know that well. Uh, and some of you guys, you guys know exactly who you are. I'm proud of our relationships that we were able to just take from here to here. And I had a lot of fun working with all of you guys as well. This will be the group to change things. This will be the group that Every year I tell the seniors to think about what their legacy is going to be when it comes to 460. And every group has one. Every group adds some new layer. Everyone has always come up with something slightly different from the classes before them. But this class was forced to do it. And this class answered that call with incredible dignity and resolve and grit. And I think I'll remember this as the class that, that left a very different legacy and, quite frankly, elevated the program. We, as upcoming seniors, hope we can follow in the footsteps of the 2020 Sport Management Senior Seminar 460 class. We wish the very best, personally and professionally, to these 460 seniors. Thank you for watching. This has been an Intern TV production. I'm Andrew Golden. I'm Matt Dopp. I'm Jeff Wilson. Take care and stay safe.